significantly cramped down is the best preserved example of a comprehensive architecture which reflects the coming together of cultural foundations from China and Europe. This resulted in a unique fusion of Asian construction style with European colonial design. As soon as you step into its cobblestone streets and watch folks driven calessas right past you, you are immediately transported back in time and space. Today, the city of Vigan is the first component city and capital of the province of Ilocos Sur and one of the most sought after travel destinations in the country. The major attraction of Vigan is its mestizo district, which is filled with Spanish style houses that evoke a bygone era when its people lived prosperously because of the Manila Acapulco maritime trade. The houses are simple but lovely subjects ready for picture perfect shots with their roofs of red tiles, thick walls, huge doors, and staircases leading to rooms of high ceilings and sliding trapeze shell windows. Having survived the many natural and man-made calamities throughout the centuries, the family who own these treasures have endeavored to maintain them. We are walking toward here, the city of Vigan, and um, we're actually inside the Sikia Mansion, one of the highlights when you do your tour here in the city of Vigan. And this used to be the house of Vice President Pedro Carino. And as we go around, we're going to check out the place, showcase it, and we're going to let you get inside this particular house, the Sequoia Mansion, here in Vigan City. Inside the Sequoia Mansion, one will marvel at the huge rooms filled with not only Philippine antiques, but also those from countries all over the world. There are huge oil portraits of the family, with three identified as being done by national artist Fernando Amorsolo. There is even a huge replica of Juan Luna's Polarium, which was painted by the national hero and painter's assistant. We're inside the Sequoia Mansion and still, we're actually in the room of uh, the Vice President of the Philippines. Uh, Vice President Pedro Carino, and we're actually in this room, and uh, you know we can see all the hardwood that surrounds the whole room, and impressive uh, conservation of uh, this particular room here in the city. The house is still used by members of the Carino family, so visitors will see modern implements in the dining room and kitchen together with the exquisite antique chinaware on display. The centuries-old provincial jail of Ilocosur, where former Philippine President Elpidio Carino was born, was converted as National Museum to become the repository of historical artifacts and paintings that will showcase the arts and culture of Ilocanos. We're on our third stop here in the city of Vigan in Ilocosur, and we're doing some. Uh, we're gonna check on how the pottery are being made in this side of the region. Jars made from vegan are much sought after by foreign and local visitors. This earthenware is called burnai. The industry that has grown from the making of burnai dates back to pre-colonial times when immigrants from China came to settle in vegan. They practice the craft of making earthenware using a grade A clay that is found in plenty in the western area of vegan. The making of burning is done with just the use of the potter's skillful hands and use of pottery wheel and kiln. Compared to terracotta, people say that the burner is harder. One of the descendants of Chinese immigrants who introduced burning making in vegan, Fidel Go, has been awarded by the National Commission on Culture and Arts in the 90s as a national folk artist. He is the owner of Ruby Pottery and until now continues to practice and sustain the craft of burning making. I 
also had the chance to visit the loom weaving and the convention center of Vegan. This is our fourth stop at the Deacon Convention Center. During one of the major events that happened recently at Hotel Luna, I had the opportunity to know more about the city through the city's visionary, Mayor Eva Medina. Well, they always describe vegan as a place where you make a pilgrimage to your heritage. Um, it's, a, it's a place where um, uh, parang you, the, the, you turn back in time and um, where people are very vigilant in keeping their patrimony in taking care of their heritage. So, sabi ko nga na we can do no less because our forefathers did it eh, for us to enjoy. So kami, it, it, let it be said na dun masasira sa amin. So sa amin kasi, even the small children, we start them uh, very early. We make uh, workbooks, coloring books, activity books. Na um, uh, it's, a, it's an activity book, pero yung kwento, puro about the heritage. So uh, the questions are called out from the stories of uh, the traditional industries, the famous people, yung mga, ganun, mga heroes, and then mga food. Uh, so as, as early as kinder and nursery, binibigyan namin ng coloring book yan about uh, vegan. The mayor is expecting the arrival of more domestic and foreign tourists after the city won as one of the new seven wonder cities of the world. The formal inauguration of one of the world's wonder city award for vegan had earlier been set this year to coincide with the city's Viva Vegan Festival of Arts. From the pre-colonial typical vegan house design, Bahai Kuk on stilts when it used to be an island surrounded by the rivers, the structures have been transformed into stone houses with upper frame doors made of timber, steep tiled roofs, and window panels made of cappy shells. The town's building has been closely patterned after the specified plan, followed during the Spanish Empire, but it became remarkably vegan architecture through the merging of Chinese, Ilocano, and Filipino influences. Complementing the city's tourism and business efforts is the provincial government of Ilocosur, where vegan is a component city. With the vegan city, uh, Mayor Eva has done a lot. Uh, she has uh, really uh, done a good job in preserving our city. It's now a living uh, museum. Uh, they have done a lot of uh, ordinances that uh, preserve our uh, old uh, Hispanic or Spanish houses. Now uh, the provincial government has the job or has a task to uh, help the city in promoting tourism by uh, what we wanted to do is we want the tourists to experience not just Vigan but the whole province. Vigan is known as uh, the main city, uh, that's where all the hotels are. Our job is to contain the visitors here in Vigan. By doing that, we have to uh, take advantage of the other municipalities. What do they have to offer? Because if they only stay in Vigan, they will only be here for a day or two. But if we promote the whole province, they have choices or options to go to. They can go to other towns. We are now uh, promoting our ecotourism. Here in the province of Ilocosur, we have so much wonderful. Uh, the province is now um, asking, well, we, we already have a partnership with the Department of Tourism and DPWA. They are now um, or working on our roads. Our infrastructure is going to all the tourism destinations. So by doing that, it will give them more time to stay in Vigan, not just for the night, but for the whole weekend. So we want them to experience not just Vigan, but the whole province. We are also promoting our uh, One Town, One Product. So each town here in Ilocosur has one product to promote. And, uh, that's uh, one way of uh, promoting not the product but also the town.
Quezon City is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site and was recognized with the one of the best practice for World Heritage Site Management by the same international agency. So the next time you are planning for a leisure and recreational travel and for even a business conference or meeting, it's high time to bring yourself back in time in the city of Vigan in your local store. Did it, 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 did it,